DFG Science TV, Stone Age Giants, The Trail of Rocks, from portal tombs to graves and their builders. North Germany. At first sight, it looks like a familiar landscape, roads, villages, and towns. The fact that this region is home to a wealth of treasures from the past remains hidden initially. Not so for archaeologists, however. They can see them even from afar, the megalithic graves. They date back over 5,000 years. Today, the number of megalithic graves has dwindled dramatically, with only just over 10% of the total of 229 that were recorded now still in existence. Those that can still be seen today are often in a sorry state and give little of original grandeur away. In particular, industrial agriculture, industrial building projects and other large-scale projects like the Kiel Canal or things like that have simply resulted in the destruction of megalithic graves in many areas or plundering of their stores for use in these projects. About 5,500 years have passed between then and now. Will we be able to disclose the secrets from the Neolithic age? The initiators of the priority program Monumentalism and Social Differentiation, Professor Friedrich Luth and Professor Johannes Müller, have set out to track down the clues left by the stones and find answers to these questions. Both of us have been studying megalithic graves independently for a long time, and the topic of megalithic graves has cropped up in a conversation time and time again, even when we were talking about completely different aspects of prehistoric research. There came a time when we realized that, although the research in Scandinavia on the one side and southern Germany on the other is quite advanced, there is quite a gap between the two, so it seemed obvious to bring a project like this into being. Ranging all the way from small dolmens up to impressive passage tombs, the shape and size varies immensely. Did they dominate the landscape visible from far and wide, or were they perhaps hidden in the forest, so that they only came into view when you got right up close to them? These are just two of the many questions that the archaeologists hope to answer. This demands cooperation with a large number of researchers from a variety of different subject areas. We enjoy the great advantage that it isn't just about our own discipline of archaeology, but that it also primarily involves traditional science, so to speak. For instance, archaeobotany or archaeozoology, which have now been supplemented by DNA, in other words, genetics. The subject area that met partly at the university, or above us at the Institute of Archaeology, primarily from an archaeological point of view, is augmented by state agencies, by state museums and by various other research institutions, such as the Lower Saxony Institute for Historical Coastal Research. This makes the whole thing very exciting and is actually the greatest challenge for pooling data centrally. There is a lot more work for the priority program Monumentalism and Social Differentiation over the next six years. Will the researchers manage to track down the secrets the boulders hold? Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.